It's your boy Rush and because I am your favorite peanut butter. It's favorite peanut butter thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch nigga about me. You dig? Shout out to B High ATL. Radio shout it. I, mean, I don't really fuck with too many of these major outlets, but homie from Atlanta. Yeah, I definitely, you know, fuck with his whole platform. He really fuck with a lot of street niggas like Greg Street. Another nigga that, that fuck with a lot of street niggas and shit, you dig? But shout out to Beehive for that Dame Dash interview. Now, anytime Dame speak, niggas need to listen. It's like God is speaking. He may not be the most richest motherfucker on the planet, but guess what? He nigga to open up a lot of doors for motherfuckers, allow niggas, allow niggas to have a lot of these opportunities. Like he said the other day, instead of niggas spending money on these, these videos, spend these thousands of dollars on these videos, Spend these thousand dollars on these short films. Allow niggas to have something to actually watch. Like he said, everybody that he he put on, he made niggas do movies from state property to pay them full. Real nigga shit. And respect Dame, because he's never been a hater. Like Beehive was asking him, how's it feel to be on that 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 Kanye West farming shit? That billion dollar farm. He said he felt like he did his job. Because he promised everybody that he put on that they were going to be billionaires. Not millionaires, but billionaires. Not that fake billion, but that real billion. And Dames kept his word. Like If you ever listen to my, my Petey Crack interview, he allowed Petey Crack to motherfucking spend a million dollars of Def Jam money without even putting out a motherfucking album. So, you know, Dame just want to see his people eat and grow. Like, he was not going to put you in a, in a, in a position to better yourself and make your own money and make your own decisions. He wasn't doing his job. Unfortunately, Jay-Z wasn't as loyal of a partner as he should have been. He blew up and left his man behind. Look at Jay-Z now. He basically hit his max. Ain't nobody fucking with Jay-Z. Jay-Z hit his peak. Jay-Z time is over. You better hope Beyonce make a couple singles because niggas don't want to hear Jay-Z shit no more. He's ready. Niggas respect your platform, but niggas don't respect you no more. Yo, your era's over with. But back to Dame and shit. He's like, you know, he always wanted to do more than he, he wanted his artists to do more than just put out music. Like he was saying, he was on uh Michael Jackson, whatever that island is that Michael Jackson had. He's like, you know, Kanye's doing it bigger than him. Cause you know, he said Michael Jackson, he was known for music. Once your music is put out, it becomes shit in the past. Your shit is old. Once you drop your album. Your shit is in the past. Your shit is now old. Ye them Yeezys, he like, yeah, them shits is selling. Them sell two, three, four times. Once they sell at the stores, he said somebody will wear it, resell it, wear it once, resell it, and it becomes a collector's item. That's art. That's real shit. You, if you have a product to sell somebody, it never becomes old. Songs become old and played out. And that new sound comes in, and that old shit fades. Like, you gotta gotta respect Dane. Gotta respect Dane. Look at the Black Panther. He put a lot of people on that didn't he didn't get the credit he deserved. And motherfuckers try to shit on him like he don't have that billion dollar idea. And you wonder why Kanye's back fucking with Dane. Yeah, there's about to be some powerful shit going on. Shout out to Dame Dash, man. He he fed a lot of niggas. He even fed a couple of my homies and shit. You dig? That's how you know he don't discriminate. He don't pick and choose. If he see potential, he see realness, he gonna fuck with you. Facts, though. Make sure there was no other points from that, that, that interview that I want to point out. But nah, man. Dame Dame's always been on point with shit. He's always looked out for his people. Always got the shit end of the stick. The good guy don't finish lashing our books, you dig? I'll post the video, the interview in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Relish Renee Cuz, and Facebook fan page, The Relish Renee Cuz Show. Also got a second backup Instagram page, The Revolutionary Cuz Show, with the word duh and show at the end instead of just The Revolutionary Cuz to make sure you follow both. Stay tuned. A lot of dope shit coming your way. Triples.